What's good, Ken folk? It's RJ. In today's video, I'm gonna tell you 10 reasons why Baker Mayfield is a savage. I mean, savage level 101%. Why don't I just say 101%? Plus, you can't have 101%. It's not a real energy. I'm gonna tell you 10 times in his career that he's just been all in the business, taking no prisoners, just giving the business to all he surveys. And that's coming up after the bumper. If you're new to my channel and you haven't been here before, hit the like and subscribe button if you like what happens next. I upload a lot of videos. You might want to hit the bell notification so you don't miss anything. Bumper. <laughs> so number one on the list has to be Baker Mayfield planting the flag on the O block at the Ohio State. I like to think that Baker did that to the sound of Waka Flocka in his head. That style big, seven days of the week. Respect from the west to the east. Like bro, it's damn near October and Ohio State fans is still salty. <laughs> Ask Baker if he cares. Go ahead. Ask him. He doesn't care. Baker Mayfield is a savage. Numero dos on the list. Mayfield walking up to the Baylor football team in pregame going, Who your daddy? Baker walked up to the Baylor football player and said, You forgot who your daddy is. It's time for me to spank you. That's savage just because he did it like, you know, like one of them deadbeat dads that ain't paid child support in like 10 years and essentially walked up to a bunch of grown ass men and then declared that he was going to spank them. And did just that. Baker smote the Baptist. Or is it smiting? Smeaten? Smootin? Doesn't matter. Baylor's trash. Moving on. Number three on the list. Baker essentially showed up in January 2014, shook Bob Stoops' hand and said, I'm your new starting quarterback. Context, he left Texas Tech to walk on at OU in January 2014. Now remember, January 2014 was the same month in which OU won the Sugar Bowl, beat Alabama. Trevor Knight it all but solidified himself as the starting quarterback for the 2015 season. And then Baker come in like Mr. Steal Your Girl and stole the starting quarterback position. Savage. Not for real, I ain't heard anything that savage since Ice Cube dropped No Vaseline. Since Nas dropped Ether. Since Kendrick Labar went on Big Sean soundtrack and stole the entire song with one verse. Is it hot in here? Or am I just sweating like a slave who was caught diddling the master's wife? Number four on the list. Baker Mayfield keeps a running list of haters in the Notes app on his iPhone. Like you probably are in his iPhone right now and you don't even know it. It's probably eating up like half his memory storage at this point. He probably goes through every one of them, you know, reciting them. Couldn't even have to read them anymore. I mean, basically what I'm saying is Baker Mayfield is Arya Stark. Baker Mayfield over here like, You tell them the Sooners remember. Number five on the list. While sitting out the 2014 season, Baker Mayfield stood on the sideline next to Jay Bowlware and called out TCU's signals in Fort Worth. Baker Mayfield was in Jay Bowlware's by a cocky saying, that's a pass. Tell Amaya Thomas to watch over the top. That's a run. Tell Dom Alexander to hit the B gap. That's a screen. Tell Eric Stryker to blow it up. Like I feel like Baker Mayfield is the dude standing in the corner yelling out, 5 0 Ram. Number six. No, I tried to do number six, but I was gonna drop the phone because I only got five fingers on one hand. I need one hand to hold the phone. You understand. Baker Mayfield essentially rocked a porn stash for an entire year and none of us said a thing. We didn't even notice. But you got a saggy dead squirrel on your upper lip. But you got a dead possum on your upper lip. Nobody went up to Baker Mayfield and said, hey man, trim that dirt diggler. Number seven on the list. Baker threw shade at TCU in a Sports Illustrated article because during his recruiting process, TCU coaches asked him how big his hands were. Essentially claiming that his hands weren't big enough to hold a football. Hands look pretty big now, don't they? Big hands, big... Wait, I can't say that joke right now. Baker essentially dares you to doubt him. He insists that you doubt him. He begs you to fight him. What I'm saying is Baker Mayfield is probably the only white guy on earth who could end up in a world star hip hop video and be styling on someone. Just throwing these hands. Matter of fact, I wouldn't be surprised to find out that Baker Mayfield pre games by just watching world star fight videos with his samurai sword and Beatrix kiddo onesie on. And her mantra be like, where's, where's Bill? Bill? Speaking of which, do you think we could get Quentin Tarantino to make Baker Mayfield's biopic? I mean, it's essentially a revenge flick and that's what Quentin Tarantino does best is revenge flicks. QT, give it a think. Number nine on the list. Baker essentially asked Taylor Swift out put in a public address announcement. Cause of course Baker Mayfield would date a pop star or at least want to date a pop star. I'd like to see her give him a call back, but Taylor Swift ain't got a great, you know, track record of keeping significant others, you know what I'm saying? And number 10, biggest reason why Baker Mayfield is a savage, that he stays savage. Baker Mayfield turned down scholarships to New Mexico, Florida Atlantic, and Washington State. And he blazed his own path, he made his own road, because he believed in himself. He trusted in his ability. What's more savage than that? All right, that's it for me. I'm tired. Says I've been on this mug for like 53 minutes. Check this out. That's actually not 53 minutes. I've actually been on it for an hour and 53 minutes. Cause I'm a psycho. Remember to like and subscribe. I'm gonna go get some water.